We're all getting together in the barn tonight to sing some songs. Want to join us? No, not tonight. Why? I hear you're a really good singer. I would, but I'm a little horse. A little <laughs> horse! Woohoo! <laughs> to make a short video of how to graph a polynomial function. And the one that I wrote up, as you can see at the top in blue, is f of x equals x minus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 5 times x plus 6. Now, the degree of the polynomial you find by multiplying all the various x terms together. Since I have x times x times x times x multiplied together, that's positive x to the fourth. So the degree for that polynomial is going to be a fourth degree polynomial. That tells us a few things. One, it tells us that the end behavior, since it's positive x to the fourth, the end behavior has two properties. Let me just change the pen color. It's going to go up to the left and it's going to end up to the right. So that's the first question. Simple, right? And, and you have that in your notes so that if you need to refer back to your notes, go ahead and do so. The next thing are the zeros. And if we look and we try to find out what the zeros are, we take each factor once the polynomial function has been factored, and this already is factored, we set each factor equal to zero. So I can see that I'm going to have a zero at two, I'm going to have a zero at negative five, I'm going to have another zero at negative five, and I'm going to have a zero at negative six. So let me write those down. Okay, so the zeros are at negative two, I'm sorry, uh, positive two, the positive 2. Then I'm going to have a 0 at negative 5 with a multiplicity of 2 because there are two factors that have a 0 of negative 5. And I'm going to have a 0 at negative 6. Now, do, do they touch or cross? At negative, sorry about that, at negative 2, since there's only one of them and that's an odd number, it crosses the x-axis at 2. At negative 5, since it has a multiplicity of 2, which is an even number, that's only going to touch the x-axis. And at negative 6, since there's only one of them, it's going to cross the x-axis. So when I go to graph this, it's going to look something like this. On the x-axis, at positive 2, we're going to have a point. On the x-axis at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're going to have a point. And on the x-axis at negative 6, we're going to have a point. The end behavior says it's going to go up to the left, so let's draw it up to the left. And it's going to go up to the right, so we'll draw that up to the right. Now we know at negative 6, it crosses the x-axis. At negative 5, it touches the x-axis, it being the graph. And then at uh, positive 2, it crosses the x-axis. So it has to go something like this. And the graph will look something like that. Now, I don't know exactly where the turning point is there. I don't know where that is, but for the, for the purposes of this exercise, I don't care where it is. I could find that using a graphing calculator if I, if I needed to. And I don't know where that turning point is. <clears throat> so we have, we have, I'll get my highlighter out. We've got one, two, three turning points. And it's a fourth degree, so that works out because you can have at most n, which is the number, the, the degree of the polynomial, n minus 1 turning points. So I will in a little bit go to Desmos and show you that it matches up with this pretty well.
All right, <clears throat> so I pulled up Desmos, and I, you can't really see it's off the screen. Let me see if I can move the screen over. And if you look right over here, you'll see I punched in f of x equals x minus 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 5 times x minus 6. Let me move this back to the screen now. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You can see, just like in the drawing in the video that I did um, from the tablet, it goes up to the left, goes up to the right. It crosses the x-axis at negative 6. Then it has a turning point, which I didn't know where it is, but apparently the turning point is at negative 5.676 comma negative 1.137. Then it turns around and the function increases until it gets to the, uh, the 0 at negative 5. And then it doesn't cross, it touches the x-axis, then it decreases way down to here, and again, I had no way of predicting that unless I started plotting lots and lots of points. Let's see if I can find it. Way down here at 0, negative 300, and then if I can scroll out a little bit more, you'll see that it crosses the graph as predicted at uh, the 0 of 2, or at the point uh, 2, 0. So, uh, as predicted, doesn't look exactly like the picture that I drew by hand, but you can see, for the purposes of this exercise, it did exactly what I said it was going to do, as predicted using the information that you know. Uphill to the left and right, because it has um, a degree of 4. We know that it's going to cross the 0 at negative 6 because there's only one of those. It has a multiplicity of 1. Um, you, can, you know that because there's a multiplicity of 2, an even-numbered multiplicity at the 0 of negative 5, it's going to touch that and then turn around and not cross the x-axis. The then it's going to go down to some unknown point, uh, unknown turning point uh, with, a, with a minimum, a local minimum value of negative 3, hundred zero which we found out using Desmos and then it's gonna go back and it's gonna cross the axis because there's only a multiplicity of one at the zero where x equals two so there you have it uh, hopefully this will help you use Desmos try some problems out try them by hand then go right to Desmos math it up